everyone, I'm Elizabeth, and welcome to my room. Okay, so we're gonna take it back to 1990 today. Back to when one of the best shows on TV premiered. Yeah, I'm talking about In Living Color. Okay, so I wasn't actually live when the show first aired, but I did watch reruns, and it became one of my favorite shows. So I decided to narrow it down what I believe were the top 10 best characters from the series. So if you agree with my list, make sure you hit that like and share button. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe as well. Hey, I'm going to stop talking. Now I'm going to let the countdown begin. That's a lovely hairband. Do you like it? I got the idea from watching a share video. I love it. That Richard's a lucky boy. Oh, there he is. I sure hope everybody likes him as much as I do. I'm sure we will. Mom, Dad, Jimmy, this is Richard Dickerson. Hi, everybody. Well, welcome, Richard. Everybody calls me Dick. I guess it's just easier to remember. Boy, he sure does have a big dick place. What a cute little fella you got there. Thank you. How old is he? He's four. Ah, four years old, eh? Hey, look at that. Uh, what does he do? What does he do? For a living, his job. What's his job? He's a four-year-old little boy. He doesn't have a job. Four years old and doesn't have a job. Why, when I was your age, I had a paper route, a Kool-Aid stand. I mowed the lawn. I was a delivery boy, a babysitter. I worked in a coal mine all while I was simultaneously in the first, second, third, and fourth grade. You better get a job before it's too late, boy. Give me back my heart, you lazy lima bean. <laughs> Don't get excited, it's just my wife Hilda doing the laundry for her day job. Oh, God, I love the wind out there. It dries my laundry in one turn at a time. Yes, it does, no. God, me look at here. What is this? I'm out there three minutes and Liz and Margaret sitting down on a job. <laughs> look, Mama, leave me alone. I've done all my chores. Besides, I'm talking to this real cute fella sitting next to me, you know. What does he do now? Well, I'm from Trinidad. In my 15 job, and I think I love him. Hey, how you doing? It's me, Benita Patrol. Child, I was on my way home from playing bingo. Got caught up here in these here riots. People acting like he taking everything they ain't glued to the ground. Of course, Miss Benita always had herself some. Didn't have to wait for Ron Keen to get bopped upside the head to get me a love song. Course you wouldn't want to look a gift horse in the mouth. Huh? <laughs> waiting to see Great Balls of Fire. I ain't gonna touch it, but the title alone gets two snaps up. 
now let's talk about some films that are soon to come out on video. First up is Black Widow, starring Teresa Russell and Deborah Winger. Hated it. Wait, 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 wait. We need a, a code word that you can yell if you get in trouble. How about help, you idiot? <laughs> Got it. No problem. <laughs> Ripe and ready to eat. And you, mi amigo, are ripe and ready to die. Dominguez brothers, Manny Mo and Joaquin. I've got to send you to prison for life. Yeah, but with your behavior, cut out in three months. And we spent those three long mesas dreaming of the day when we could put you through your worst nightmare. No, no, not juggling. <laughs> I sound like Hank. But he definitely said, help, you idiot. He's just selling help. <laughs> He's probably testing you. Buenas noches, la cabeza. Well, good looking. Let me ask you this. Uh-huh. How about if I called you tonight? Hey, okay, then. I'll take you somewhere we can get wine. For real, though. <laughs> you know, and the whole nine yards. Oh. Yeah, it was you. You talking the kind of stuff I like. Let's go. Let's go. I want to see my angel hey. float. Hey, that's my song. Float on. on. Are you I got <laughs> it. Hey, you kids get a nifty job on this mural. Shall we study its basic elements? You've got paper and you've got paint. A deadly combination. Let me show you. Let's just say for the sake of argument that the Earth is being occupied by strange crab-like creatures from another planet. One of them needs a light. You whip out your Zippo. You flick your wick. Somebody says, look, it's Yoko Ono on a moped, and boom! You're off to the races. Now, how do we put this out? Uh, uh, smother it with a blanket? You could do that, that's for sure. Anybody else? Um... You can ask the crab-like people for assistance? Get real, big kid! How about you, Missy? Get a fire extinguisher! Excellent, Miss Tompkins. But let's give the kids a chance. No, the classroom is on fire! Kids, come on! Oh. So it is! Everybody remain calm! I am a fire marshal! By the way, what's on the other side of this wall? The chemistry lab! Claw. How come you don't got way hair and white beard? Oh, surround my face with white so I can look some sort of damn North Pole negative. I don't think so. Homie don't play that. What do you want from Homie Claw? Uh, a Malibu Barbie with her own condo! A Malibu Barbie? Yeah! Well, I ain't got no Malibu Barbie. I got Compton Carlotta. <laughs> and this is her Section 8 housing and foreclosure. Hey, this is Bill Cartman. This is your turkey finger with an afro. Merry Christmas. Thank you. <laughs> 